What's up everybody? Today we're going on a road trip to somewhere so cool. It's probably one of the coolest places in the country, maybe one of the coolest places in the world. I am pumped and uh, I want you to come along with me. Let's go check it out. Okay, we've arrived. I'm here at Duncan Imports. Uh, if you've heard of this place, you know what you're about to see. If you haven't, you just sit down and prepare yourself for what you're about to see. I've got a little preview already, so I've been in there a little bit, but I'm gonna take you through. There's no way I could possibly capture what is going on here in one video. Um, it would take a series, an endless series of videos. But uh, this is a car dealership. It's also a collection. And what they have is just kind of undescribable. So I'm just gonna let the video do the talking. Let's go inside. Okay, folks, we're inside now uh, in one of the warehouses. So what I'm gonna do is just walk through and uh, just sort of let your eyes unfocus and just look at everything in here. Here we go. I think what's so mind-blowing about the vehicles in here is that they all have a story. Like for example, this one here, found locally, uh, kind of a, like a barn find, 442 original miles. Just an unbelievable specimen. And that's what you see over and over and over in here. Um, each vehicle having a very similar story. This one has six miles, it was put away new and discovered, uh, and I mean, just over and over and over, uh, David was telling me so many of these stories about these cars. That looks familiar. You see they've got a couple Figaro's here. Just stay tuned, you haven't seen anything yet.
Oh, here's a fun one. Check out this Jeep. So you see the turbo graphics on there. You get a little closer. Boom, Mitsubishi version. <laughs> this is what it's like being in here. You're just looking around. So many things are catching your eye. You just, your eyes are darting around. You can't possibly take it in. It's sensory overload. You peek around and something like this just jumps out at you. Okay, so earlier you saw a couple Figaro's parked in the corner. Uh, there's a couple more right here. Yes, all Figaro's. I feel like I'm at the Figaro factory in here. <laughs> it's unbelievable. This whole place, and they're all in such great shape. Okay, so once you've wrapped your mind around the sheer volume of Nissan Figaro's here, it just keeps going. Here's uh, a few BE1s. The Nissan PAL. Got a nice collection of those. Love those too. Here's a Honda City Cabriolet. Super, super cool. There's a collection of just like new condition fire trucks. And then we've got some uh, Cosmos here, which are just like in beautiful, beautiful shape. Got the three rotor. Would love to have something like that. And then we've got some Skylines. I love this white with the BBS. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. And this S Cargo is like in perfect shape. In case you don't know, this was uh, built alongside the Figaro. Same chassis, similar engine setup. So crazy and unique and uh, captures the spirit of Japanese automotive engineering at that time. right-hand drive versions. Wow. Got a whole bunch of Honda Beats. I really like these too. Oh, what's fun is, um, since they're smaller, they have them stacked too deep. So you see a row of them and then there's uh, even more. <laughs> Look at that, that's three deep there of these Honda Beats. Wow. So cool with the hard top too, check this one out. And I see a yellow one over there with the hard top. Stock seats. Zebra pattern, you gotta love it. Really cool gauge cluster too. So here's a, a collection of 
just unbelievable Japanese hearses. This is just unlike anything I've ever seen before. So this one here really caught my eye. I want to show you something cool about this one outside of all of this. Look what we have on the column there. Yeah, let me get in on that. Yes. That is a four speed on the column in this Japanese hearse. Just incredible ornate work on these. So to give you an example of some of the stories behind these cars, this particular 1956 Volkswagen has six miles on it. Six. How is this possible? Oh, I would love to have something like this. 47,000 miles on this one, and it's so impeccable inside.
Okay, so you've seen the inside. Here is what's going on outside. Even more amazingness. One thing that is just blowing my mind is the variety of these little Japanese trucks. Here is a Minica like service truck, work truck of some sort. And you pop the hood here. It's got the cyclone going on. <laughs> That's so cool. Hey everybody, this is David. Uh, he's been so gracious to show me around here today and take a tour, take me on a tour. It's been so amazing. Uh, I know everybody's gonna love this, David, so thank you very much. Now, you probably could figure out that I love these little K vans, and they just have so many. There's so many details if you love cars like this, like I do. Um, your eyes just can't take it all in, like, like these types of details. So there's a really cool fire truck. And that goes well with the, oh, I don't know, 20 <laughs> or 30 other fire trucks that are here that are all in just perfect condition. Here is a really incredible limo that David showed me. So the standout feature is this two-seater back seat. It's like an executive office back here. Check this out. Set, dual cell phones. The decanter back there and the glasses. Just amazing. You ever just see something and just fall in love instantly? Well, that's how I feel about this. You know, I love the Mitsubishis, but this thing is just so crazy. You know, I was sitting in this one and it's shockingly comfortable and roomy in here. I mean, nice size back seat. Um, I, I just felt completely comfortable in this thing. 
It's amazing how space efficient it is. It, it's just in such excellent condition too. That's what's, uh, I mean, not only is the car so cool and unique, but it's just like pristine. Functional hood scoop for the intercooler there. God, I love it so much. I mean, folks, we could spend hours and hours just out here. I mean, there's just so many stories and just unbelievable cars just in this back lot. And you guys know I love vans and the van collection here outside of the little micro vans. I mean, they have these um, Estimas, which are the Previas in the US. Uh, and just such cool features and excellent condition and look at all these Delicas All in just unbelievable shape Now, David was telling me that this is his personal favorite. Let's take a look at some of the features here. First of all, it looks and smells like a new car. <laughs> the features in these vans are so incredible. Um, just the gauge package. So it's got this cool box and a feature where you can make it hot too. Back here, it's like a late 80s private jet. And all the seating options, how the seats swivel. These vans are just the coolest thing in the world. Um, all of these curtains are motorized. So you just touch a button and you can open and close them. All of these seats uh, can swivel and turn around. And it's huge in here. This one has the optional crystal light roof which is just uh, all glass all across here's the you can see it there the crystal light roof <laughs> so cool Oh, I love the period correct wheels on this fair lady. Oh, and what do we have here? Fairly recent arrival, the Gallant. And uh, of course they have a countless <laughs> selection of these mini trucks. Just every variety you could ever imagine. Every combination and option package you could imagine. Just end to end as far as you can see. All right folks, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this road trip to Duncan Imports. If you can get out here, I can't even recommend it enough. I mean, seeing it in person is a whole different experience. And uh, they're so nice and helpful here. They'll just show you around. And uh, it's just so much fun to explore. I will definitely be coming back here. So thanks for watching. And with that said, thanks again, folks. We'll see you next time.